Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a Godzilla vs. Shimo surprise fold. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Godzilla vs. Shimo surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to line up the corners and give it a nice fold, just like I'm making a card. Next, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it in half one more time. So it's kind of like I'm making a big bookmark. Now when I open it up, I have these nice little guidelines that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. And I like to turn my paper this way so I can open it up for a nice surprise. Now to start off with this, let's begin by drawing Shimo. So I'm going to begin right here and I'm going to make a line that's just going to go down. And then it's going to come back here and then curve down. Next turn here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down and then curve up. Then I'll curve this line in a little bit and then I'll add a couple more little lines in there. And then I'll add a little line or two right here. Now right here, I'm gonna bring this line up and then down. And then I'm gonna do this a few more times And then I'm going to come over, down, and then bring it over here. Next, I'm going to bring this line down and then in like this. And then I'm going to draw this line down and then over and then up here. I'm going to color in a dot for the nose and then I'm going to curve a little line down. Then I'll make a little line right here for the mouth which will eventually be the chin. Now starting here I'm going to make some long kind of like spiky shapes for some little spikes coming off the back of the head. And then I'm going to bring this line down here. And I'll add a few more of these little kind of spike shapes in here. I'm going to add a few coming off of here. And then I'm going to make a couple little spikes down here. Next, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down and in for the neck of Shimo. I'm going to bring this line down. And then I'm going to put a few little spikes on top of the head. I'm going to make a little curved line right there. Next, over here, I'm going to draw the new pink Godzilla. So I'm going to start here by making a line that's just going to go down. And I'm going to bring this back and then down a little bit. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to come over and up. Make a line that's going to come up. I'm going to bring it back to here and then down. Then I'm going to make a little line that's going to come out and down here. I'm going to make a little black dot for a nose and a line that comes down. And then I'm going to add a few little lines behind the eye. And then a couple little lines right here. I'll make a line that comes back here. And then I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. It's going to come over and then up here for the jaw. Then I'll make a little line right here. So it looks like the mouth, but eventually it's going to turn into the chin. Now right across here, I'm going to put some small spikes right across here. 
and then I'll make a little bigger one back there. I'm also going to make a little line that's going to come down here. And I'm going to put a little row of spikes along here too for his new design. Next I'm going to make a line that's going to come down and in. And I'm going to do that a few more times just to kind of make the neck. And I'll make a line that comes down here. Now, our next step is to open this up and draw the inside. Now, once we open this up, we have two halves of our surprise fold. We got Shimo over here and Godzilla. So I'm going to start with Shimo. So first, I'm going to begin by drawing this line down. And then I'm going to make this line come down. And then I'll bring this line up. I'm going to make this line come down and then up and then down, and then up again. And then this one, I'm gonna make it come down, and up, and then down. I'm gonna curve this line up here, and then I'm just going to bring this line down. Next, I'm gonna add some sharp teeth in here. Nothing too big, the teeth are a little bit smaller. But I'm just gonna add some sharp teeth here and then some sharp teeth over here so you can kind of skip some of those bumps on there. And then I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come down here and then another line right down here. And then I'll do the same thing, I'm gonna curve a line up and then a second line right here. And I'm going to leave this part open real quick because I'm going to be putting his blast in there. But then right here, I'm going to add a little line that's just going to come up and down like this for the tongue. Kind of put this right in front of there. Now, over here on Godzilla, I'm going to draw this line down. And I'm going to make this line come over and down like this. Then I'll bring this line up, and I'll bring this line over, and connect it to here. Next, I'm going to draw some sharp teeth in here. You can make them a little bit different sizes for some different details. And same thing here, we're just going to make some sharp teeth right across here. I'm going to make a line that's going to come down and up like this for the tongue. And then I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down here, and then a second one. And then I'll bring this line up a little bit and a second one here. Now our next step is to draw both of their blasts that they shoot at each other. So let's start with Godzilla's. So I'm gonna begin by drawing a line that's gonna come out here, kind of wavy and bumpy. And then same thing here. And then I'm going to make it kind of like pointed and bumpy on here. And then I'm just going to bring these two lines together. Now on Shimo's, I'm going to make his kind of more spiky. And then I'll do the same thing over here, a little bit smaller than Godzilla's. And then I'm going to make his really kind of pointed and jagged so it looks like it's more of like an ice blast. And then I'm going to connect all these lines right to the blast. And there you go. There is your drawing of a Godzilla versus Shimo surprise fold. So when you have it all folded up, we got both characters staring down each other. And then when you open it, they're each shooting their blast. And we're not sure who's going to win. You have to let me know in the comments which one you think is the more powerful of the two new titans. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.